Okay, hello dear friends, good uh, evening, such a beautiful, beautiful evening. Keep on with this beautiful book. Today is part number 10, The Adventures of Odysseus, number 10, Father and Son. Meanwhile, Odysseus, in the shape of an old beggar, was climbing the hill towards the hut of Eumaeus. Eumaeo. <laughs> the swine heard the hut of... Oh, this is Eumaeus. His name is Eumaeus. The swine heard is the pig, uh, the head, shepherd, swine herd. And this uh, is the person who take care of the pigs. When Eumaeus saw the beggar, he threw open the door of his hut. So, bam, he opened the door immediately without any hesitation. It has been decreed by mighty Zeus that anyone appro approaching one's threshold in peace should be welcomed. You came in peace, I welcome you. The almighty God Zeus already told me so. I will do exactly like what he has told me. Old man, come inside, sit down. The swine herd welcomed the beggar and showed him where he could sit. Yeah, he was very kind. Come on, come on, come in and sit down. I give you a seat. So he sat down. The old beggar did not care if he's a beggar, he's a king, he's a, a, a god, he's a princess. Whoever came in peace with with good uh, intention will be welcomed to my place. Then he slaughtered a fatted hog. When he had made sacrifices to the mighty gods and goddesses, he roasted the meat over the flames of the fire. He gave the best cut to the beggar. That was such a kind person. Well, maybe vegetarians will say him a murderer or someone, but uh, that was the old time, okay? People do not, uh, did, 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 not uh, um, did not eat vegetable that much, and uh, they eat uh, meat as a, a good respect for the... <coughs> for the far away friends. Anyway, he chosen a good hog, a, a good pig, and uh, he had uh, prayed, oh, forgive me, heaven, I am doing it not for myself, for welcoming friends, and he said, please, please forgive me. And uh, the gods and goddesses forgive him, and he started to roast and zizzling, and um, <clears throat> with some barbecue sauce, with some, uh, with some sweet and sour, with some uh, um, salt and pepper, lemon, garlic, onion. Yeah, it didn't say, but it would just imagine it. So he made the barbecue, um, <clears throat> uh, barbecue pork, and he chose the best piece, tenderloin, give it to, to the beggar. <clears throat> Gratefully, the old beggar ate. Eumaeus sat down beside him and told him story after story about the outrages that had been committed by the suitors in Odysseus' feasting hall. As he listened, Odysseus felt the bile rising in his throat and his heart pounding, pounding against his ribs. Pum, pum, pum. Oh my goodness, he was so angry. <laughs> he was so angry. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> uh, Eomaeus told him 
all the bad things those people had done. They have stole, they want to kill your son, they stole your wife, they wanted to stole your wife, and they eat your, your, the, 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 义愤填膺，给他气得不利不利的。嗯，奥奥奥德西气得不利不利的。嗯 ，as he listened, yeah, he felt, but he bit his lip and swallowed and said nothing. <coughs> he didn't say anything. When at last the swine herd fell silent, the old beggar turned. And said, "In my travel from city to city and from port to port, I have heard rumors in many places that Odysseus is on his way home, and that he sails with chests filled with treasure." Eumaeus shook his head. Old man, I can see you are trying to win your way into my heart with tittle tattle and half remembered gossip. No, Odysseus is dead. You are just trying to please me and trying to comfort me with this half-told tale and、uh, and non-approved、uh, legends and stories. But I know Odysseus is dead. I feel it in my bones. His body is rolling somewhere deep beneath the blue waters, blue waves. Of the sea. For three days, Odysseus stayed with the swine herd. Every morning, when Eumaeus took his pigs to graze and root for truffles,、mm, truffles, <gasps> delicious truffle pizza,、mm. Odysseus wondered. The island, in the shape of an old beggar, he climbed Mount Neriton. He wandered the wine yards. He terraced hills, the cliffs, the 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 terrac the the terraced hills, the cliffs and the beaches. His heart sung for joy, to feel. Isakan soil against the soles of his feet, just the bare feeling of putting his feet on the land, on the soil of Isaka, make his heart jumping with joy. He watched his people at work. He even watched his own father, old Laertes. La Laertes harvesting grapes. He saw his father. No one took any notice of him. To them, he was just another ragged old man who had had more than his share of bad luck. Oh, poor unlucky man! They were thinking. Sometimes. Out of pure pity, someone would give him a cup of water or some bread and cheese. So Odysseus was wandering around, and people, Isaka, it's a good country. People are still kind. I love the, the tree and the leaves. Oh, that's such a smart painting. I want to paint it. It was on the morning of the fourth day that Telemachus returned. The swine herd was preparing breakfast. The old beggar was sitting on a stool 
by the fire. Suddenly, the door swung open, and standing framed. In the doorway was a young man with his first beard on his chin. Eumachus dropped the bow he was holding. Eumachus looked at him. There was a young man, Telemachus. By the mighty gods, you are safe home. He ran to him and threw his arm around the young man's neck. He kissed his forehead, his left eye, his right eye, his lips, his left hand, his right hand. The swineherd honored his prince like a father honoring his son. Wow, if I see my son, my baby boy, I will do the same thing. Kiss his left hand, his right hand, his left eye, his right eye, his left uh, no nostril, his right nostril, his, uh, his right left chin, his right chin. Anyway, you, you get the idea, right? Odysseus, sitting on the stool by the fire, saw his son for the first time in 19 years. He said nothing. He slowly got to his feet and offered his stool. Telemachus shook his head. No, no, old man, you are a guest here. To me, this is more of a second home. Sit down, sit down. Oh, Telemachus was so gentle and so polite. You are a guest. He did not even care if Odysseus was dressed like a beggar, but just by the pure age, by the pure appearance as a guest, he offered the seat back to Odysseus. The old beggar sat down again. Telemachus squatted in front of the fire, warming the palms of his hands. Eomaeus prepared breakfast for the three of them. They sat at uh, the three of them. Why? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we will. One, two, three. Odysseus, Iom, uh, Iomeo, Telemachus. The wooden table, the three of them sat at the wooden table and ate. They, as they were eating, Telemachus, oh, just so that easy for you to remember, Tele, T-E-L-E, Marcus, M-A-C-H-U-S, C-H pronounced K. Telemachus told them about his journey to Sparta, about his encounter, encounter with red-haired Menelaus. <clears throat> Menelaus, Menelaus, and the beautiful Helen. Oh, he saw Helen, <clears throat> and about the visit he had received, uh, about the visit he had received from the goddess. When the food was finished, he turned to Eomaeus. Eo, Eo. M A M A M A E O E U S E O M A U S E O M A U S My mother, sweet Penelope, P E N E P E N E L O L O P E P E P E N E L O P E My mother, sweet Penelope will have heard of these plans to murder me on my return. Her heart will be wrong with worry for me. Please, I beg you, go to tell her that, that I am safely home. 
you know, there were rumors that I was, I, I was murdered. I am being murdered. I will be murdered. My mother, my beautiful mother, she will be so sad. Io uh, meios, go to tell my mother I am okay. I am safe home. The swineherd nodded and strapped on his sandals. He made his way across the floor of uh, across the floor of uh, <clears throat> of the hut and pushed open the door. It was at that moment that Odysseus saw Asina, Asina. Her grey eye blazing with light, unseen by the swine herd, she was standing outside her the hut, beckoning to him urgently. So Asina, Asina was the goddess of of war and wisdom. Is one of the most powerful uh, female figure in Greek. Greek mythology, and Asina has a special favor of Odysseus because Odysseus is smart, is hardworking, is determined. Who does not favor this kind of guy, right? Odysseus. Uh, th- th- so, <clears throat> uh, so Asina is kind of a, a guardian angel for uh, Odysseus. Asina. Okay. As soon as the swine herd was gone, the old beggar got to his feet and nodded to Telemachus. He hobbled, he hobbled through the door and closed it behind him. Asina whispered, Odysseus, the time has come for you to reveal yourself to your son. She reached forward and touched his shoulder with her hand. At once the light came back into his eyes. His sick curls returned. His arms sickened. The beautiful cloak of King Alcinous hung over his broad shoulder. He turned and pushed open the door. So, Uh, Asina told uh, Odysseus, Odysseus, this is the time you reveal your true identity and uh, go tell your son Telemachus, you are Odysseus. See Odysseus. Telemachus, the first bit. Telemachus got to his feet in astonishment. What is going on? Who are you? You are not the man you were before. You are one of the mighty gods who ruled over the broad skies. So Telemachus did not know who he is. He has not yet told him. Odysseus has not yet told Telemachus, I'm your dad, come here. Yeah, he didn't say that. He just the pure appearance of almighty, of power, of, uh, of glory is just overpowering. Yeah. And Telemachus was shocked, aston- astonished. Just a uh, is happening. Mm. Odysseus shook his head. Telemachus, I am no god. Look into my face and tell me, do you not see something of yourself? Telemachus pierced, peered into the stranger's eyes. Suddenly his face lit up with joy. It's you, my father. You are home at last. When did you get here? How long have you been here? How did you get home? 
爸爸，爸爸，是你？你怎么回来的？哎呦，我的老天爷爷！啊，这这这，你怎么回来的？你怎么过来的？你这这，你你你，你花了多长时间呀？我有，我想死你了！哎呦，我的爹哟，我的亲爹哟，嗯。Odysseus's eyes filled with tears. Telemachus, my son, what a error!、啊、He held his son in his arms. They sat down together in front of the fire, and all that day, Odysseus told Telemachus about his adventures on the field of Troy. And his great journey across the broad face of the world, of the world, when the afternoon shadow were beginning to lengthen, he said, "And now my story drew to its end. Though whether it is a comedy or a tragedy lies in the lap of the mighty gods and goddesses." Telemachus. I do not know whether this is、uh, that the, the mighty gods will see my experience as a comedy or tragedy. And n'importe comment, c'est pas important.、Mm. Okay, Telemachus, don't tell anybody that I am home. Don't tell anybody. That I am home. This is the secret between you and me. 天知地知你知我知，好不好？谁也别告诉，告诉就会有大灾难。嗯嗯。Not even your own mother. 别告诉你妈，你也不要告诉你娘，就咱俩知道。Tomorrow I will go to my feasting hall and see what truth there. What truth there is in these tales that I have been told, and you, my son, you must go there also. You can be sure, the crow, the cowardly suitors will not dare to harm you in broad daylight. Telemachus nodded. At the moment, they heard the sound of the swine herd returning home. Asina, invisible, reached into the hut. She touched Odysseus' shoulder. She always touched Odysseus' shoulder. There is something, you know, kind of, you know. You know, in in class we do not touch students, and students can touch can say, "I don't touch me." But、uh, Asina is kind of、uh, taking advantage of his almighty、uh, goddess power. Anyway, come back to the story. Immediately he was an old beggar again. Ah,、uh-huh, okay, okay. Now I got it. Asina touched his shoulder, so he became back to、uh, a, a beggar.、Hmm. That's the magic touch. Let me see my touch. Oh, nothing happened.、Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dressed in rag, the door opened and Eumaeus entered. He prepared supper for the three of them. They sat and ate and talked until deep into the night. Then they wrapped themselves in their cloaks, lay on the floor in the firelight, and slept. That is, that is, quite comforting and magic. This part of story.